Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Simple Steps series, where I explain musical concepts in a clear, concise, and simple way. This is episode two, and in this one, we're talking about sus, or suspended chords, and more specifically, how to improvise over them. If you didn't see episode one, where I go over the tritone substitution, you can check out the link right here in the card, or in the description down below. A sus chord literally means you're making a chord out of the first, fourth, and fifth scale degrees. The only difference between a sus chord and a major or minor triad is that in a sus chord, you're using the fourth of the chord instead of the third. Since we're talking about how to improvise over this chord, you'll often see it written and played as a dominant seven sus chord. That just means you're gonna add the flat seven to the one, four, five. Now the simplest and what I think is the coolest way to play over this is to play a major seven chord a whole step below the root of the sus chord. So basically if you see a C sus or C seven sus, all you're gonna do is play B flat major seven. That's it. Here's how it sounds. Can you hear how those notes work of the sus chord? I think it's a pretty simple way to play it and sounds really good. Now I'm gonna play around with it and improvise a bit using that B flat major seven sound over the C seven sus. I love this sound, and I use it almost exclusively when playing sus chords. So if you came for just the quick answer, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it, see you next time. But now I'm gonna actually show you the breakdown of each note and why it sounds the way it does over the sus chord. First we have a B flat, which is the flat seven, then D, which is the ninth, then the F, which is usually called an 11, but in this case we're calling it the four because it's a C7 sus chord. We're substituting the E out for the F, and we also have the note A, which is the 13th, which is very often played with a suspended chord. So the notes of that B flat major seven chord are the upper extension of the C seven sus chord. And when you play them together, it really sounds good. So I hope this video helped clear some things up about sus chords and I hope you can take this and implement it into your own playing. If you have any more questions about this or if you have any other ideas you'd like to see me talk about in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Please browse my channel, subscribe, and check out my Patreon where you can gain access to lots of material that won't be released anywhere else. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.